Thank you very much for all of you to come and watch here. Everybody come to together this morning. Too early. <laughs> but who cares? <laughs> it is Friday. It is Friday. We should all get together. And uh, the Gumach pe pe people has welcomed you to this country. This is a lovely country, uh, Kulukula. Kulukula, the country of the Murayana, the Ganbulapula, the great Ganbulapula, the spirit man who dances and give you the strength, give you the power to believe and worship things. Uh, thank you for coming. You have come a long way. And some of us has come not far away. Thank you for coming this morning. Thank you everybody for being present once and for all. Some of you come from interstate, other states of the, uh, the country. You have come together uh, to meet your families, meet your friends particularly, and uh, together to come here uh, to this Ngulukula for For I don't know what. <laughs> You'll tell me. I'll, uh, I'll move around and I'll ask anybody and everybody what you've come for. And maybe you have to tell me something that I want to learn from you. And uh, then we had to learn from each other what we're here for. But most of all, you have come to learn, to witness something that is new, that is unique, and that is very, very new to, uh, to all of us. And uh, that means the, the ones who's gonna speak, speak to us this morning and uh, for the next few days. Um, that will tell us a, a good story about something that we want to learn. Uh, I don't want to lead you through um, through the program because it might frighten you a little bit. Uh, you might go away. You, you might go away <laughs> to know who's coming. So uh, let, it, let it be quiet, <laughs> let it be quiet and uh, let, your, uh, let your ears come this way to listen to what they have to say. Um, first of all, <laughs> uh, first of all, Jawa, uh, who will speak to the uh, the crowd, and uh, he will speak to to us as the opener of the of the uh, uh, forum. Uh, and uh, Chawa is a a Gomach person of of uh, the Gomach family. Thank you. Thank you, Bungo. Namene Bokmak. Mara on the other one, Bokor Bonero. Menola Martina Lili, Patra. 
Tiyako tibala karma festival le. Katurang arab ngang tunang arako ay ancestors na. Taray ko ngala nolor ng tiyako alang ko. Pramana ngon ni Ramarjuna Katura. Ladies and gentlemen, I spoke my first language. Just welcoming you. And I also asked my ancestor today to protect you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor that I stand here before my ancestors and speak to you today. I've spoken in a language very few of you understand. It is a beautiful language that is soft, yet strong. It is a language that catches the sounds and the style of nature. It matches and mirrors the rhythms and movements of the land, the style and the power of the fish, the birds, and the animals. It reflects patterns of nature. The word gopo, for example, is not just a word for a tuna fish. But for the explosion of that fish from the water and the spray that it sends into the air upon its explosion. I'll tell you another, about another fish. The Gunumara is freshwater fish, freshwater herring that swims in the murky waters on Gumach land. And it's the only fish that can see through those murky waters. It is able to detour any obstacles when being hunted. It makes a cloud of dust in the water and disappears. Who much people are like that? <laughs> we call ourselves Gunumara. They're like Purko. We disappear when trouble arises and sit back and watch from another angle. And think about our next move. The water that the fish lives in is Dalaj. And this is a special name of my clan, the Gumach, that we refer to that water that the fish lives in. My father's other name was Gunumara. Mission people who helped establish Yirkala now is Mungurai. Gunumara is a garden fish. Like, a, like our totem, the bar of the crocodile. Our words and our way of life are drawn from the world that is around us. Gumach is the language, the first language of this country. <coughs> and today, you will hear it as spoken, as proud and as loud as it was spoken 50 years ago by my father, 100 years ago by my grandfather, and 1,000 years ago by my ancestors. 
When I spoke just before, I asked our ancestors to look after us and protect us here at Kulkula. I asked them to give us strength and unity and purpose. I asked them not to forget you either, to remember the strangers that are in our country, that have come as friends. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Jawa Unipingo. My first name, Jawa, means cyclone. But I'm not here as a cyclone, otherwise you wouldn't be here. I'm just the person. The name Unipingo means rock. An unbreakable rock that stands against time. My people, the Yolngu of North East Arnhem Land, and my country, Australia. My Prime Minister is currently Kevin Rudd. But it is my clan leader and my brother, Galaro Yunipingu, who is the highest authority in my life and who is the person who has inspired and challenged me all my life. Men and women like Galaro and his cousin, Wali Unungmura, from the Dalongo clan, my recently deceased brother, and many other deceased before him, and many still alive are great Australian leaders. They have ensured that younger men my, like myself can stand here today and address you in the language of my ancestors. They have made sure that I can sing Manikai songs, that I know the Minji. the painting, which are the sacred designs. They, they have given me the sacred names of the country, the sacred ceremonies, the patterns and the beauty of a culture in all its depth and power. Ladies and gentlemen, this is very important point that I emphasize. What my elders have given me, I've given to my children, and now with them, I give to my grandchildren. And this leads me to my main point today. Yolngo cycles are unbroken. Our language is strong. Our ceremonies are as they should be. Our land, our Inheritance still lies beneath our feet. Our children are given their identity through Yolngu names. We are Yolngu people first and foremost. But we are Australians also. <coughs> and we seek to be Australians. We seek to be Yolngu people within Australia. Proud Yolngu and proud Australians. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud of our achievements, but I also worry about the future. Yolngu people are not afraid of the future, but the future is dangerous for us. Too many of our last generations of children have grown up confused and unable to live their full lives in the modern world. Yolngu people must take responsibility for our children and the future. 
and we do. But the modern world of Australia places huge pressures on us. We see what poison and what confusion the outside world brings when it comes in. Takes power from us. Takes away responsibility from us. And leaves us hanging around waiting for handouts. Too many of our people fall into that trap. Waking up each day waiting for someone else to do things for him. And the parents pass bad habits onto the kids. The world of too many of our children is continually threatened by this bad behavior. So along these lines, I want to raise three points. Number one, we need to take back responsibility. All of us must be responsible for the future. In the past 10 years, my clan has taken control of our future. One of our mottos is, look up to the future. And we have done this. Time and again, Galaru has spoken about how we will do things ourselves, and we have. We have a long way to go yet, but we have built pride. As we have employed our own people, built our own school, grass our own football oval, started a nursery, opened a store, and pulled together as a community. Ladies and gentlemen, look around you and see what we have done and created here at Kulkula on our sacred country. I urge all Australian people to take the same approach and take back responsibilities. Number two, the government bureaucracy must work with us not against us. One of the problems with taking responsibilities is that we are living now in such a welfare state where too much is given or taken away to outside government forces. And not just one arm of the government get involved in our lives. There are too many arms, like an octopus, except the octopus even argue with itself <laughs> and competes with itself, tangling everything up and leaving us high and dry. And with every confused government program comes confused outsiders. All with their forms for us to sign to be sent back either to Darwin or Canberra. It's like a comedy movie. Except it's not funny. And it keeps replaying itself. Every day in front of our eyes. The money wasted is criminal. The effect on people's lives is criminal. We have to stop this and have one road, one authority, and trust and work with one another. Number three, let us take the lead with businesses on our own land. You all know, understand trade and commerce. We've been at it for centuries with the Macassan and with others before them. Today, 
We have our own companies. We have a timber company. We have a contracting company. We have a retail arm, a coffee shop, a pastoral company with an abattoir, and a meat processing plant. We run the Nolanboy Waste Dump. We have fishing license. We have, an, we have an agreement with Rio Tinto. We have rebuilt Garma, this site. We have homelands that are now entering the economy through little bit tourism, or cattle farm, or the forestry industry. These businesses all create jobs. We understand that job is the most important thing. In the last year or so, we have created over 50 jobs for Yolonga people here on Gold Peninsula because we are now part of the economy. We have found our way into that economy. At my community, Gunyangara, the families of men and women that have restarted their lives as workers have, have been changed for the better. Husbands and wives are now working together. Their children are going to school. Life is better for the community. We need a strong economy to keep providing jobs for our people. On this note, I call on both governments and Rio Tinto to conclude an agreement to Gas to Go. Gas to Go is not a boat winner in Darwin or Canberra, but it is essential to the future well being of Northeast Arnhem Land for both Yolngo and non Yolngo people. I ask the government and Rio Tinto to think about this very, very carefully, to get their heads together and make case to go happen. In closing, I make a few comments to my countrymen here today. Aboriginal Islander people are the spirit of this country, whether Yolngo, Anango, Kuri, Murray, or Islander. Aboriginal Islander people are the regional pioneers who tamed the country, whose ancestors learned the secret ways and its secret names, who grew with it in harmony and learned to live with it. We still carry its secret totems and icons, secret and hidden, but very much alive in our world. To my countrymen and women, I want to say to you that Yolngo people do not stand apart from you. We stand with you and you stand with us. Our ceremony is linked with you throughout the country. I would like to, like all Aboriginal people, to know that the strength of Yolngo culture is also your strength. Work with us respectably and carefully. And the knowledge that we have can be shared and used and to again link up the song lines of our country. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to talk to you about the Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening to me and thank you.